plastic, resin, and concrete are all common materials used in 3D printing and all boring. Here are five materials being used that you've never thought of. But before we start, let me know in the comments the strangest 3D printing material you've ever seen. Maybe it's on the list. London-based company Forest is making 3D printing wood more affordable, reliable, and sustainable. To accomplish this, they are scraping the floors of wood mills for sawdust to make wood furniture and art. Their custom 3D printer works similar to other powder bed printing machines and uses an in-house binding agent to meld the sawdust together layer by layer forming a solid object. The piece is then injected and finished with a bio-epoxy resin to give it strength. Customers have the ability to choose a grainless finish or an artificial grain added during the printing process. To do this, the binder comes in clear and brown colors to bind the wood powder particles and create natural wood looking grain patterns that flow across the entire part. After the epoxy finish, forest parts can be sanded, stained, polished, and refinished in the same manner as traditionally manufactured wood products. Finished forest parts have strength similar to traditional wood and can be screwed or nailed. Giggity giggity. The next material involves the world's two most popular drinks. 3D Fuel, located in Fargo, North Dakota, is making a filament from coffee and beer. Their coffee filament, called Wound Up, is made by combining used coffee grounds from local roasters and sustainable PLA plastic. The filament has a deep brown color and brown specks which adds textures. As a bonus, it gives off a sweet smell during the printing process. Buzzed is their beer-based filament and is made by using waste products produced during the beer making process, which is sourced from a local brewing plant. The filament produces objects with a rich golden color and noticeable natural grain. Buzzed and wound up filaments can be printed on any machine capable of printing PLA using standard settings. In keeping with coffee, one of the biggest creations of waste has been coffee pods. Used once and then tossed away causes environmental concerns. However, a project developed by a group of researchers at the Federal University of Sao Carlos, Brazil, centers around reusing coffee pod plastic to create PLA filament. The coffee pod PLA is first turned into pellets, then dried to remove any residual water and passed through an extruder to produce the final product. The resulting filaments can be used on any FDM printer and are said to perform well when compared to commercial filaments. Now reusing plastic waste and transforming it into filament is not a new idea and barely interesting. However, these scientists have added a shocking twist to the story. Their research group has produced a way to turn the new coffee pod PLA into electrically conductive material by adding a component called carbon black. The PLA pellets are heated with carbon black and a binder of polythylene succinate. The mixed polymer is granulated and extruded to a standard diameter. Currently, the electrically conductive filament can only be used in low voltage operations. Preventing plastic from piling up in the landfill and potentially entering oceans fights the pollution that threatens plants and organisms living there. Seaweed is one such plant and the abundance of it is beneficial to medical 3D printing. Scientists at the ARC Center of Excellence for Electromaterial Science in Australia have developed a bio-ink that could play an important role in wound healing. This is possible due to the addition of a specific Australian microalgae called ulvin, which possesses a biological structure comparable to human skin. Ulvin is able to regulate the function of cells in producing key biomolecules used during the wound healing process. It acts as a molecular reinforcement in 3D printed scaffolds, which is a type of biobandage. The ulvin keeps the structure on the scaffolds intact during the healing process and thus minimizes scarring. The team believes the material would make for an excellent high strength bandage or a 3D printed drug delivery patch. Our final material may just give you the creepy crawlies. An international team of researchers from India, Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand have successfully developed a method of using insects to manufacture an eco-friendly 3D printing polymer. Kytosan is a natural biopolymer that is derived from chitin, a carbohydrate found on the exoskeletons of insects and the shells of crabs. 
Terrestrial insects are an excellent source of chitosan due to their abundance, accessibility, and relatively high chitin content. The team looked at insects as a sustainable source because they can be easily farmed and harvested in large quantities without contributing to environmental pollution. During initial testing, the new polymer was not as successful as they hoped it would be. When they added just 0.5% of chitosan to the PLA base, they recorded a decrease in strength and stiffness, which worsened with the increase in concentrations. However, all was not lost as the researchers observed that PLA chitosan and PLA chitin composites had better ductility when compared to pure PLA. Ductility is the ability of a material to deform without breaking. For example, TPU filament has a very high ductility. These tests also indicated that these new composites had good thermal stability and compression properties, opening them up to possible food packaging applications. Though, I'm not sure how customers would react to that. Thanks for watching.